Hey guys, we are doing another video in our found object artwork series and we're focusing today on the color wheel. So I want to take a second to quickly review what is a color wheel? What are the colors in there? Why are they important? So over here I have my board with my paper and I'm going to start first by adding in our primary colors. I want you to remember that the primary colors cannot be mixed to be created. They have to be given to us. So over here in my paint containers, I have my primary colors. I have yellow, I have red and I have blue. These are our primary colors. Again, I cannot mix and make them. Quickly just paint in our three primary colors here onto my paper. Just like you see up top here, yellow, red, and blue. I'm gonna put those on my paper. So now we have our three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. I have yellow here, red here, and blue here. Now, we want to start making those other colors that can fit between those primary colors, and those are called our secondary colors. Our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple, or you may call it violet. So we're going to go ahead and show you how that works by mixing together these primary pairs to create secondary colors. So let's start first with our yellow and our blue. I'm going to put down some yellow first. and then I'm gonna add in some blue. If I mix those two colors together, I should make the secondary color of what? Green, that's right. Check it out, that made green. So now we're gonna go over to our next set. Our next set of colors here, if I were to mix together red and blue, I will make the secondary color of purple. So here we go. Going to go ahead and mix together our red and our blue. Rinse out my paintbrush here. And our blue. And I've now made purple. Kind of hard to see it on this camera there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Ah, uh, there we go. Can you see it looks purple? All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our next color. Rinse out my paintbrush. If I were to mix together yellow and red, I'm going to make the secondary color of orange. You're going to mix up your yellow in here first. Rinse it out. Add in a little bit of some red and mix that around and you should see it start to turn orange. So this is our color wheel. It has six main colors, red, yellow, blue, primary colors, orange, green, and purple, secondary colors. The way that we can make this color wheel turn into this color wheel is by adding in another set of colors that we call the tertiary or the intermediate colors. All that is, is where we were squeezing in colors before when we added in our secondary colors, we could also squeeze in another set of colors in between what is now a primary color and a secondary color. So I could fit another color here, another one here, 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 and here. Those are our tertiary or our intermediate colors. An intermediate or a tertiary color is just like this. So here I have my yellow and then I have my green and there's this color that comes in between. And what that is, is the mix of yellow and green together, which gives me a new color that we can call yellow green. Down here, I have my purple or my violet. And let's go over here to our red. Here's my purple and here is my red on my color wheel. And I have a new color that can be made in between these, in between those two colors. And we call that red violet. All you are doing when you're making a tertiary or an intermediate color is taking those two neighboring colors that are now a primary and a secondary and mixing those, those two together to create an intermediate or a tertiary color. So let's just do one for fun. Let's mix together our yellow and our green. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to mix up a green here on my palette. I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to create a green. So now I have a green that I can use. So I'm gonna put a little bit of some green here on my paper. So I've now put down my green, so I have to mix on top of my green some yellow in order to make my intermediate or my tertiary color that is yellow green. So 
this is gonna look kind of like a lime color. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer. I'll pull that closer so you guys can see it. Can you see the difference between this color green and this color green? This one's lighter. So I have now mixed together that primary color and my secondary color to create a whole new color that is called a tertiary color. And we can do this for all of the colors on our color wheel. And it so for our found object artwork today, we are making our own color wheel, only using the items in your house that match up to these colors. Now, it's up to you. If you really want to challenge yourself and try to see if you can find all these colors that can match up to our tertiary colors as well, you can. But I'm looking for just a simple color wheel. I'm looking for just those six main colors. So I'm going to go ahead and go take an adventure around my house to see what I can find that will make my color wheel. Stay tuned. Here is my completed found object color wheel. I found lots of good things around my house that matched up to these colors. I looked in my laundry room, the kitchen, I looked in my closet, and I was surprised at how many colors I actually did have around my house. So I think you will definitely have a good time doing this. I even had my mom do it at home and she sent me this photo. So if my mom can do it, you can definitely do it. I also tried to create my 12 color color wheel here for you guys showing those tertiary colors. So I'm gonna use my broom to help me point. I have my yellow necklace, yellow green dog toy, green t-shirt, blue green Listerine bottle, blue t-shirt, blue violet dress, violet necklace, red violet makeup palette, red strainer, red orange tide stick, orange laundry detergent, and yellow orange of my tea there. See how well you know color families and color pairs. Challenge yourself to see if you can identify these groupings. For this one, I have blue, red, and yellow. Green, blue, and purple. Red and green. Blue and orange. And purple and yellow.